Hey peeps, welcome to the Broke In Kitchen. I am Kalena, and today we are gonna make a nanner loaf, or some of you might call it banana bread. What happens here in the Broke In Kitchen is uh, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to maneuver the tools that are already in your kitchen for those of you who might not have fancy things like a KitchenAid mixer or a Thermomix. All of those things I don't have. So I have some other tools that we'll use, kind of like a caveman kitchen, sort of like MacGyver kitchen, and you too will be able to make the best nanner loaf of your life. Let's get started. Right now we're at our cooking station for the nanner loaf. Before I came over here, I did set our oven to 350 degrees. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cream together half a cup of butter, with one cup of sugar. A half cup of butter is also equal to half of a stick. Ooh. You know. We're gonna let that settle for a second and I'm gonna show you some tricks if you don't have a measuring cup for your sugar. So one cup is also equal to eight ounces. A good way to measure this is your regular morning coffee cup. You might have a blender bottle on hand. Fun fact about these, they all have ounces right there on the side of the cup. Some of us aren't as healthy as other people and we might not have any regular cups on hand. This signs our favorite kind of cups. Okay, this is a no judgment zone. You can use it to measure out your sugar. Just pour yourself a nice and good. That's a healthy glass of wine. And we're gonna cream these together. eggs, two of them, little cutie eggs, and we're gonna add up our mashed bananas. So first let's crack the eggs. Sorry little dude. We'll come over here to our very ripe bananas. They were sitting frozen for a while. And you just undo them and plop those babies in there. This is bananas! <laughs> Just remember that it's gonna turn out so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. It's like a, like a, like a little baby mealworm. Mm. Yeah. We have mashed up our bananas and mixed them up with the eggs with the butter and sugar, following our recipe. Next we've got to add one and a half cups flour, a little bit of baking soda, some vanilla, and we'll be ready to pop this baby in the oven. If you're extra awesome at math, you know that we put 12 ounces of flour in this blender bottle, otherwise known as your unconventional measuring tool. We add it there. Now we need one teaspoon of baking soda and then a half teaspoon of vanilla. Fun fact, if you have these two sizes of spoons, this spoon is a tablespoon. This spoon is a teaspoon. Baking soda, I got baking soda. 
baking soda. I got baking soda. So we just need a little half teaspoon of that, which basically means fill the little humpy part of the spoon. I don't know how else to explain that. So take a look. Now we mix it all together and we make the dough up. That's how you make nanner loaf. In typical Baroque kitchen fashion, I don't have a loaf pan, so we're gonna use my AP cake pan. I also don't have any pan, because aerosol cans are bad for the environment. So what you can use to grease your pan is your handy dandy butterfoil. We're gonna load this up in here. Okay, peeps, in the amount of time that our nano loaf has been baking, I have done absolutely nothing. I drank a little bit of wine, I hung out on my futon couch, and uh, now we're going to take the loaf out of the oven. Let's take a look. Dang, that's a nice loaf. Check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe for a nanner loaf, otherwise known as banana bread. So, from K-Show Presents to you, give bunny ears to your uncle next time. <laughs>